This is quite unbelievable. This family was involved since 1995. It's quite unbelievable stuff. Indonesia. And I was always sure that this was in uh, <clears throat> in the Philippines. Always, I was always sure that this was in the Philippines. They have a house in the city, which is uh, but Indonesia. What is not shoreline? This project was built. Uh, I would say by her father in the father's house where I would travel with her to get there. I don't know what the situation is with this. But I think that's what it was. I think he had uh, beautiful daughters. And um, Obviously a son. I don't know, maybe even two. I have no idea. But he had like two or three daughters maybe. And uh, he did this project. It's probably sometimes in 2000 this project came to life, you know. 99, he said, it was like busy, busy, busy. Like, hmm, busy. <laughs> How busy. This was an empty archer location. This man is well known, well known to the British royals, to the German government, to the Western governments. Well known. Uh, but no, man, this got nothing to do with it. It's got all to do with whatever went on during MK Ultra. And. Uh, my personality during MK Ultra became so disfigured due to violence in Slovenia. Nowhere else than in Slovenia. Uh, it was violence unmatched that went on in Serbia, in Belarus, and in Russia. In Slovenia, however, I was through the violence inside it into swastikas, into believing of something existing existence of something that existed nowhere other than possibly could exist in imagination. And because of these beatings, because of what went on, people started to see themselves in this. People completely unlikely, they would see themselves in it, started to see themselves in this. And uh, there you have it. Look at this. This babe, beautiful woman, eventually got married to somebody else. Uh, but I wanted her back in 95, in 96, in 97. Uh, and then it got very bad here. In 98, something like this, the sisters started to scatter. One went here, one went there. You know, check this out. Uh, in, in 99, father got really busy. And uh, <laughs> what you're about to see is I beat them in project that threw from the ass everybody. Everybody was shocked. The father loved me unconditionally. He didn't see himself in this. But... Maybe then he started to see himself in this. He wanted to impress me. He wanted to let me know that this is my home. Not that this is where I'm welcome, but that this is... That he, he wanted to place a print in my head. That there's like a magic place for me. Love, unlimited. Uh, welcome, happy. You're here. My daughter will be your wife. This is your home. You're my son. And, you know, in that feeling. And boy...
um, sitting, sitting. The breathing, the torch was so severe that it was so severe, I was such a poor thing, that eventually there was people that started to see themselves in my produced from the torture, from the pain, from the suffering imagination. This is how severe it was. Um, this man was a craftsman. He always was a very, very craft. Uh, he was really good, probably maybe even the best, I would say, at what he was doing. Um, extremely, extremely crafty. Um, uh, this guy, the uh, uh, father, might be eventually even related to Japan, the family, something like this. But he's got nothing to do with any Nazism or anything like this. His daughters got married locally in Indonesia, where people, when they learned about this stuff, the whole city went completely ballistic. But his daughters already got married to the locals already. It was like one after another that went out and married the locals. It's got nothing to do with uh, with uh, Nazism of any kind. Eventually, my personality became so disfigured during MK Ultra that I even turned against him, acknowledging him as a uh, his race, basically as a. Uh, unfit for the marriage, for the matrimony. This is how far it went. It was violence. No longer wanted to be in the picture and I didn't care anymore about the people who went ahead and did the crazy stuff like this. Um, the German government came and watched this and talking about the Angela Merkel here was impressed with it uh, the governments from abroad, from everywhere came, but for completely wrong reasons. And this is why it's important to for me, this is important to address this family so that it would not be a curse upon them. So they would not, in Indonesia, Nazism is like a big, big no-no. Uh, so there wouldn't be a misconception about how this building, uh, not a building, but how that like a little religious spot, you know, he wanted to have a, he, he, he built this house, all this stuff. He got an idea now that he wants to do, you know, that he's going to do this kind of project and started to work on this like a hell, like a night and day, like like in 97, in 98. Uh, tirelessly working on this, that he's going to make like a little religious place. Yeah, he got his economy together through the visits, from overseas visits. British royals even stayed here. So you know that the money helped, you know. And boy, boy, what a mistake. Uh, this could have easily cost him life, him and his family in Indonesia. Indonesian police was mad. In, they went nuts when they when they when they found about this special corner. A daughter that went on to do this for me. She did it for me. Uh, they say that they're gonna smash this down once I see it. This is going to be it. They said it's going to be over. They're going to smash the whole thing down. And so I asked, I asked her not to. To please not to do that. Because, because it's a memorial. It's a memorial to me. Uh, it's a memorial 
actually it's a reminder of my stay in Indonesia, my presence in Indonesia, and uh, it's a reminder of the human suffering. Swastika is a reminder of the human suffering. I see this as a as a as a unlikely symbol, which began to represent in my case. Uh, a human suffering, whether that be of Jews uh, murdered in Auschwitz or Slovenian people. My, my entire family was listed as a good to go to Auschwitz. They had one already on a train station here in Nova Mesa. I'm not Jewish, I'm Slovenian, but it, that, that doesn't matter. Hitler wanted the final solution for entire Eastern Europe, you know. He wanted to exterminate only Slavic people. He only wanted to exterminate Polish, Czech, Slovenian, Slovak, the Ukrainian, Russian. That's all he wanted to do. Ukrainian, uh, Slovenian, Polish, and Russian that collaborated <clears throat> with the Hitler uh, Not yet, you know, not yet, not immediately, only those bad ones, right? Uh, but what the fuck would it make a difference to him between good and bad if he had a final solution in his mind on how he's going to exterminate the entire nations? I mean, so which are those that they, they would survive, that he would favor what in respect to Asians like uh, Japan was a part of this axis of evil, uh, regarded Asian races as a mongrel, regarded them as a, uh, as a inferior. And why, why would he, at the first chance that would open to him, why the hell would he spare them? I mean, there was no allies here. There was only one thing, Aryan race. That's all there was. And so I know. I didn't know how to explain a little earlier, and it's not easy. Sometimes you can't explain this in one word. A swastika is a symbol of a human suffering. Now, I wanted to say a little earlier, it depends on how you see what you see in what, right? Well, because this would be a tragedy to smash down this project, um, which demonstrates just how crafted this grandfather now how crafty he was with his hands and with his mind more than hands because hands are mind you know uh it doesn't matter what how your hands look like and but what is inside of your head that's like the main thing in a human being because it's crafty because it can do opposed to other creatures they can't you know, they, they rely on their teeth. They rely more on their teeth and on, on, on other issues than as is in the case of the human being. Sometimes, if it's an equal society, if equality is given, you know, sometimes, not always. Unfortunately, the circumstances create basis for such crazy societies in today's world that that, that where people are disadvantaged and they just have to use, just like animals, teeth, legs, hands, to do manual labor, is what I'm trying to say, opposed to the countries that are developed and are eventually where people are allowed to use. Develop at expense of those that work for less, you know, utilizing teeth, basically. Uh, allowed to engage more equally within the society, you know? And even in a Western society, the society is all classified into a different categories. And then again, you're going to have a white, a so-called white, and you're going to have Asian, and you're going to have black and Hispanic and this and that, you know, which I think it's a pretty sad thing. Uh, in a way, it's important to stress these issues so the people don't suffer total denial, total discrimination. But in a way, also, it's difficult because, you know, 
everybody is equal, everybody is the same. Nobody should be different. Uh, but unfortunately, it is. You know, so that's all I wanted to stress. I, I do like them to keep this because, yeah, father was extremely crafty and uh, a religious. You know, when he finished the house, he wanted to have his own place, uh, which he dedicated right there that you see. And uh, I, 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 boy, I got for me. This was a curse because Milan Kuchan learned about this. It's a possibility that Milan Kuchan personally visited this place and inspected one and took pictures and documented one and stressed this in Slovenia as an uh, opportunity for Slovenian government uh, to excuse its mindless insanity against me. Uh, with what they produced, what they alone produced, you know. Um, and so this is this is just a really uh, Lucy hated this project with a passion. You know, I would really say that her father is a Japanese. Yeah, this is the babe I wanted to marry at all costs. This, 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 uh, they had a, she had a sister, you know, and I think that this was a younger one. The first one I was completely insane about left house already in 96, I think, in 97, the least. And then there was a second one who left the house in, I have no idea, maybe 98 or 99, something like this. And this was the third one, and I was desperate at least to get this one or whatever. And, well, she also was gone. Uh, then there is a beautiful husband, you see. I have not even spoken to her yet, but with everything I stated here, I'm sure that these people have no problem to. Uh, this is, their, uh, this is um, what I see here. Uh, From what I can recall, these people have had, I think, like even a little store with the food. That's at least what I would imagine. Uh, I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure, but it reminds me like of a, of a little store on the street. They, they would be selling the food, I think. Uh, however, notice that this family came under the extreme scrutiny and uh, they had to do stuff that was unpleasant to stay alive, basically. You know, in Indonesia, Nazism is impossible because uh, Indonesian people uh, are a mixture with uh, also Aborigine people that you see in Australia, basically. This is uh, where you know, all this span between Asia, Australia, and Africa when it was one continent before this continent split, you know. Uh, and so the people mixed and mixed and so on, and it's really beautiful, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I have not seen other videos, but this takes me way back in time, MK Ultra time way, way back in time. So, amazing. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this proof about me in Indonesia. Uh, and I've not seen other videos yet. This is just the first one I, I have checked. Um, and uh, I am going to check other videos as well. And uh, where is this Lavuk? Lavuk. I have no idea where is this place. I only know they have a house not too far from the beach, in a very exclusive part of the town, uh, like the wealthiest part of the town. And so, what is this? Nice, what is... Now I am completely confused. Uh, 
it will be the best thing for me to use a Google, uh, a good old now, but <laughs> I grew up, I was a generation of ZX, ZX Spectrum of a Commodore 64 in the, what became even Atari. Um, and so for me, to say good old Google Maps is quite incredible when Google Maps popped up and and uh, now it already became a somewhat very, very reliable instrument to use on the internet to give one ability to see where, you know. This is in a beautiful Indonesia, yep. Who was involved in Indonesia? Numerous beautiful women throughout Indonesia. Uh, I don't think you can find uh, in Asia that you can find lady that is not beautiful. They, they are. It's just. Beautiful. Lovok. There you go. This is uh, somewhere in the middle of Indonesia. What I'm trying to say. Philippines is in the north, you see. And uh, Japan is far, far. up there. Hmm. How did these people even came here? That is amazing. That's totally amazing. Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Singapore, Australia, not too far, Papua New Guinea, New Guinea. Can you imagine that I was brought to this place beginning in 1995 from completely other part of the world. United States of America, Miami Beach, actually. You know, can you imagine this stuff? And how would you go if something like this would have happened to you? How would you have a guts to say something like this? Or saying it, uh, by saying something like this, how would you feel, tell me, how, how would that make you, how would that make you feel saying something like this, I mean, for me personally, to say something like this, uh, I have to tell you, very, 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 very tough call for me. For you, for me to say, you know, hello, you know, I just returned from uh, Japan and Indonesia, you know, what people going to ask you, how you got there, how, you know, Really, you know, do you, do you have a family there or what, you know? How did you get there? Oh, you know, I was jacked up and I sat on the plane and I just said to myself, let's go, man. Uh, I doubt it, man. I doubt it. Uh, if I would have done something like this, uh, it's been a while since I was on Miami Beach, even with the mind. <laughs> Uh, if I would have said something like this, I, I doubt it, man. I don't know how it would all end, but I think I'm pretty sure that this would not. Mike, the Chinese bitch, Chinese, man, this is a good friend of mine, Mike. He cooked for me. He's got the best restaurant in the world. If you ever go to Mike, make sure that you try the sweet sour chicken. Oh, he's got such a good Chinese, original Chinese food. 
this here this this is where I was brought no you believe this stuff no you possibly cannot and uh, damn it man these trees grew yeah there was all these trees but ah there you go I'm actually do you believe this stuff here what would you do how would you explain this to somebody this shit was so unlikely uh for me to tell anybody about anything that is unbelievable how the hell you go and you tell the stuff like this that you were just in germany and australia and you know in Britain, in a Buckingham Palace, and uh, you know, in Germany with Merkel, and you know, with the presidents, you know, they were flying on uh, MiG-29 uh, close to the hemisphere uh, border with the space, you know, and another occasion on Bart Hawk with a beautiful American Air Force pilot. How the hell you do this? That you were in Iraq and, and uh, on a, you know, in a Serbia and a Bosnia and the Balkans on the front lines where they exchange bullets. You know, did you just suffer it, cardiac arrest? And how the hell do you go? You know, they practice on you, cancer and all that kind of stuff. How the fuck? Who do you go when you tell this? With a psychiatrist to move this shit. When the day one, you know, basically 18 years before they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital, how do you go? Finally, threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital. How do you go and you tell somebody something like this? Did you met Chinese and Russian president Yeltsin and Gorbachev, and uh, did you met Bill Clinton and Bush? Did you think how long do you think would it take before they would knock on the door and just say? Uh, Mr. Opsik, uh, please, uh, uh, we have to go. Probably not even with, you're going to have to check with a, such a specialist to, uh, you know. Who, what, what do you do? How the hell do you go? What exactly do you do? What are the chances you're going to tell stuff like this? I think not, because you don't want to go into the loony. Being, you don't want to go into the psychiatric hospital, do you? I mean, saying something like this, I guarantee you, sure enough, you're dead. You know, with a beautiful view of this here, is what I heard. It's Miami Heart Institute, you know, where they also had been inside more than one occasion, too many, basically. Fuck this. Impossible. 30 years of my life and uh, you know under brutal 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 circumstances I was thinking about I was thinking about how they argued as I walked trail not too far from here I was thinking about how they argued about well you know how much money we're gonna give him to have you know and it was 250 euros for him to have at least something to support himself is what we're going to give him, you know. Uh, he's going to have, but he's going to have 250. I had to listen to this shit in 2015, something like this, when they uh, caused already too much health damage to me, even through the psychiatric medications. My body became completely destroyed, basically trashed. And that's how British, that's how Buckingham Palace wanted. They wanted to murder you. They wanted to trash your body so you can have a maximum control of one through the medical field. Completely, completely surveillance, completely, completely prioritize, prioritize their views, condition them with the death, literally. Uh, and then the truth could possibly only come out otherwise not you see for me to give you all this shoe even that they insisted that i have to tell this because there was so many people involved in it 
because of them, I will not, we will not let you get away. For me to tell this to you, it was necessary to have to get a, a cancer, a deep vein thrombosis. It was necessary to get uh, hypotensia issues, problems. It was necessary to get what I was told I also have a anemia. That's a, you can get stroke or cardio arrest, uh, heart attack. Uh, it was necessary to develop this kind of issues during MK Ultra through destruction of kidneys. Uh, I don't know how much liver are okay, but it was necessary to do this uh, and accent these issues to me throughout MK Ultra next to directed energy weapons attacks, next to guessing that they will do me, that they will guess me, uh, uh, like a juice, uh, like a Hitler guess juice and stuff like this. Well, uh, you know, there are the people who finance Hitler, actually, you know. And the thing about it is that all these issues, they learned British, Saxe, Coburg, Gotha, Windsor, Battenberger, Mount Battens, they learned, appear on its own. Uh, they claim me appear on its own. Uh, they don't appear on its own. If you, if I would concentrate, why was this so important for them? Because if I would concentrate on these issues, as I stated to you, um, using the garlic and all that other stuff would cause a lot of damage to kidneys and so on, which would fail. And because of what, whatever they had done to it in 2017 when they triggered this, I told you about how they would give me dialysis during MK Ultra. Uh, it would be impossible for me to cure these things because once the kidneys fail, all those whatever developing since 1995 through the poisoning of the kidneys and surgical procedures and all other stuff automatically would come back on a picture, right? So that's all they had to do, basically. Uh, and that's why they brainwashed so much on these issues, when in fact all these issues, somewhat to a certain degree, great degree, uh, the biggest degree are controlled literally by the kidneys. This is such a disgusting thing that only these people from London uh, could have diabolically developed. But, it's, you know, they started with this in 1995, not in 2011, with the Prince Harry. Not in 2017, when Prince Charles stated me. that a time is sticking out for me. Um, they started this in 1995. This is the stuff they have done already. I anticipate to a lot, a lot of other people. But this silence confirms that there is a lot of other people who are affected by this so-called MKUltra. They wanted to talk to me about, for me to refer myself to this as an MKUltra. This is no MKUltra, you know. You know. If the torture is worse than MK Ultra, then you should refer to that as a torture. But if they do the stuff like this, or what they refer to this as a, even human experimentation, that's terrible. You know? Um, they stated me, just like Hitler did in concentration camps to Jews, it had nothing to do with the Jews. None of this had anything to do with the Jews. They want me to hate, 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 hate. Uh, if they would, if I would start to see myself in this hatred, you know, you know, I, I don't understand sometimes, you know, 
in 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 uh, they were sure this truth will never come out. They were totally lax. They were certain this truth will never ever come out. Uh, it was certain that they have caused me so much evil, and I I had so much uh, agitated world with my behavior during MK Ultra. You know that's interesting. That sure enough. You know, they will get their project without even a scratch of their shoulders going. Uh, by basically bagging them for life, basically on knees, as Joe Biden stated. Rotten in vain and in pain. You're going to rotten in vain and pain. Uh, regarded throughout this project, it was dead walking man already and so on. So... I anticipate they did this already to a lot of people, this kind of stuff. I know for a fact, however, there was a lot of people affected with this. Uh, and in, for this video, I'm just going to say it's not as fast as necessary. In Poland, man placed, he did his own, uh, 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 what appeared to the Jesus, uh, like... Uh, not the statue boy, boy. This is memorial. Memorial dedicates uh, to Jesus. He did uh, at his house, you know, uh, right at the Grotniki, close to Grotniki, what is this, Ostronia, I think. Before you get to Skirsh. And it's the same thing like this. People have seen themselves in all kinds of stuff, and, you know, the thing about it is that 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 they did the stuff that uh, well, you know anybody can see himself in Jesus. Maybe you know even the Jesus is a subject to discussion. Jesus is just as bad, you know, or he can be just as bad as this Nazi swastika that you see right there, because it's also accenting a culture of a slavery. Basically, it's actually some kind of a Christianity. Expecting from people to see themselves as poor, as screwed, uh, basically uh, their Lord pinned on a uh, on a cross, suffering. Basically, see themselves in a suffering. Uh, and you know, it's 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 a good thing when you see yourself in a suffering because you know you, you can go down the road and when you see a poor person in society, you wanted to help them out. You want to do their best to, to lift them out from the poverty, to help them out, and so on. But, you know, when you, when you, hell, man, the upper portion of society is using this Christianity, you know, for people to celebrate poverty. And you can, you can trust me, they took historically enormous, enormous advantage over the po poverty. They became wealthier and wealthier and wealthier through the poverty so they don't mind that kind of religion of forgive and forget you know when somebody rip you apart and if you're willing to forgive and forget that's good you know that's good so it depends on how do you see yourself and what you see yourself but you know every one of these statues i don't give a fuck about the swastika excuse me uh unless it's if it's a hindu symbol or somewhere if i see one somewhere in India or somewhere over there, uh, like an old symbol and stuff like this. You know, it's not really the symbol that does it, but what you see yourself, not yourself, but what you see in one, how do you interpret it? So that's why I, I, I'm going to say to please keep this. Uh, every one of this is just a proof of human suffering. It's just a proof of it's a proof of aliens. You can call me an alien if you want to, whatever you want. Uh, but I was there. I saw it. Uh, I, I was all over the Indonesia, just like I was all over the Africa. I was like, every one of these proofs, it's all good. People did all kinds of uh, testaments. It, it was all kinds of stuff that people did in the different countries. It's just like... I, I was all kinds of stuff, man. I was a dragon, and I was a tiger in China, and they, they, they all kinds of stuff. Um, 
they saw themselves in a different things and then they 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 had these things to remind me of this stuff and so for me personally every one of this is like from the police point of view like a police officer would see this he would say this is like um you know a proof um it's something tangible you can touch uh, it's a it's a testimony it's a it's you know so that's why i say keep it don't give away and uh you know maybe we should see ourselves more in everything you know and if you would see ourselves more in absolutely everything as a humanity we would absolutely know more about uh, ourselves too you know so no for me to say i just want to say to this lady thank you very much and to her family please don't tear this thing down I mean, what your father did is just incredibly beautiful they don't go here at all they don't go here at all uh even the father stopped going there like oh man he he was completely uh heartbroken you know what these people have a store they have a store they had a they had a store in the city they were they were having the store they would they would take me to the store she 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 would uh, i think she had a store i hope it was not her sister she worked in the store well i hope i'm gonna talk to her but this is all i gotta say is thank you very much for thinking of me please don't do what you told me you're gonna do that you're gonna tear this down as soon as i see it if you're gonna do this that's just too bad you know Uh, from what I can recall, these are, uh, let's say that these are the sons. No, they're not sons. This is, she has, oh, there you go. This is, what is this at all here? This was a very, very long time on a picture this year. But this, this, um, I don't understand this stuff here. No, this probably is not it. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. This is probably uh, at, uh, um, some kind of a government location, something like this. But these three guys that you see right there, uh, she has a son, you know, and... Uh, you know, I don't know. Is this uh, her sister or is this? You know, this is another store. They they have more than one store, I think. And uh, here they pose with a son. One of them is a son, and I think she had two sons, and the older and the younger son. And uh, but in this picture, I don't know. Are both sons the soldiers? I don't know. I was the one who wanted them to become a soldiers. I hope this is not a police officer. I have no clue. I, I think they were soldiers. But this goes so back in time. This goes all the way to... Oh, God. This goes to about 2010, 2008, something like that. And uh, then in this academy, then you had, I think the sun is the one on the left that you see, and those two guys right there. Actually, those are his friends that I met also in this. Was it a military academy or, military or police? Academy? Military to me, look like a military. But the thing about it is that you have to look into this matter a little bit more you have to take a nice hiking walk 
for you to know and recall basically is what I'm trying to say more about these things, you know. You can just go and dig, 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 dig. But what I did to you is good, is very, very good. Uh, he had maybe even three sons. With one son uh, that went into the military. And I think he was like 18. Uh, another son became like a went became i think like an electrician or something like this with the uh, high school with more he went on to study and stuff like this but i don't know what happened uh this military career became interesting in the family they started to look more and more into military i don't know what happened hell maybe these are her three sons right there i have no idea the only thing i know is that with uh, with her son, when he went to the military, he had two friends from the military that he and them would come with me to mom in the store and so on, you know. So I would have to talk to Lucy more to learn more about this stuff. Let me see what else here. Aha, uh -huh, here's the father. <laughs> yes, it is. That's a dad right there. And, uh, you know. What is it with the rabbits now? And that's a daughter right there. Okay. Already her daughter. That was a grandpa that I demonstrated you. And, uh... Happy Chinese New Year. Are they Chinese? God knows. I think they're Japanese. I think the father was a Japanese, but it doesn't make no difference. What I love about the Asians is that they're Asians. There's one thing about uh, the so-called white people that I love is that uh, they discriminate. I like about the white people, the so-called Aryans. Uh, Western European origins discrimination I love that part because when they discriminate there's one thing that comes out of that it's about basically uniting entire uh, Asian population to see themselves as one you know because this this is done in a such a way it's always it's always Asian it's you know, you don't even understand that when you do the stuff like this, that you insult, uh, that it became to them totally normal to understand that they're being viewed in a very, very, uh, as Asians, as either you're Philippine or Indonesian or Japanese or you're Chinese or whatever it is, it became to them all evident that that you insult basically that you insult based on their race and not based on even of their ethnic origins even that they are trying to twist this around and so on and so forth but you know this asian people they know exactly what this shit is all all about they know exactly what's all about Asian people love me because I came out as a as a racist against the, the Asian people in a very very funny sense. Um, they love me for being racist uh, in a very very strange, very very unlikely. Uh, concept that made them understand more about themselves that's why uh, and the thing was that they tested me uh, they realized that 
that the most, the best I felt about Asia uh, was actually here in uh, in China. And I know right now the Communist Party of China is going to be not very happy with me, but, you know, I don't give a fuck. The truth is that uh, I like the Asian, you know. If it was a Chinese... But it was a Japanese, the Japanese, I was crazy about the Japanese. And I was crazy about uh, this here, about this, uh, uh, the Kazakh, the Kazakhstani girls. Uh, it, it was Asian. They convinced me, not only they convinced me, that it, 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 they, you know, they even convinced me that, that here that I was Thailandese and the Chinese convinced me that I was a Chinese, you know. And I started to believe under MK Ultra that I'm Chinese because, you know, they, 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 this is, I'm one of them and this is, you know, they realized that the further from China and uh, from Japan and this toward East, and that, then again I was in a trouble with the India, you know. They realized and with the Bangladesh, <laughs> they realized that's why I'm a very strange racist. They accepted my racism, but they couldn't accept, and they never will collectively will accept the the Western racism. This is so twisted, I know, because my racism was based on on the Asian concept. If the further they would bring me to the East, you know, toward Bangladesh the more I would dislike the place, the women is what I'm trying to say, you know, and then to India. Uh, but India knows different too, because now if the India domesticated me, you know, if they keep me for long enough, and they put the babes, you know, oh, they have be women beautiful in India. They also have very gorgeous women in India. Uh, and what they were doing, they were hiding the beautiful woman of the India, you know. They, they would only bring them on a picture if I would go, like, completely no. And they were trying to promote ladies that were not so beautiful. Yeah, very, very sneaky stuff, you know. And if it would be too much and I no longer want to cooperate with under MK Ultra, then they would bring immediately a beautiful Indian ladies. That's how they were doing this stuff, you know. And they were using the Indian ladies, you know, to play like a twisted games and stuff like that. It was the same shit everywhere you went, you know. The Indian, there was a beautiful Indian. Uh, they, they, Indians, and, you know, they started to claim that these are not even Indian women. How the fuck are they not Indian women if I see them on a TV when they are in this uh, soap operas and stuff like this, you know. These actresses, how the hell are they not Indian women when I see it, you know? Uh, like, for instance, Dalbanis are very funny people. Dalbanis are very funny because uh, you know, they teased me, you know, with their wives and stuff like this. And, and uh, you know, and then nothing happened and stuff. And, uh, and, you know, they had other ladies on the side too, you know. And... It became completely evident that these ladies that they, they have on the side and this and that, 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 that I like it. But they were trying to get me to accept like the ladies that are unlikely, you know, that you would not go for it and so on, you know. And that's what they called a racism that you don't want. That was really not a racism. Okay, so every country had, had its own stuff. Uh, so, but the, my, my, my kind of racism in Asia, nobody, nobody, nobody minds, really. Uh, I was, after all, also the one who, uh, well, no, I mean, I am not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I don't want to take that much credit. I'm not going to say that I was the one who, uh, you know, that, uh, maybe, you know, I don't know. There was uh, American actresses that were black, and they look Asian. 
you know, and this is the stuff with the Mike Tyson, you know, because I liked Mike Tyson. And, uh, you know, I, I claim that he always looks so good, you know. And, uh, and the Chinese started to push the theory with other Asians that, uh, you know, for them to see themselves in Asia more, you know. And uh, it, it looks like that I like black people that look Chinese. Actually, I should say Asian, you know what I mean? So then Americans claimed that, that I divided America and all kinds of shit. Oh, boy. This is just too much. It's too deep. Uh, but my kind of racism is strange. It's really not a racism. That's kind of racism is as normal as can be in a human being. <laughs> and sometimes maybe not. I don't know. I shouldn't say that racism is normal in any way, anyways. Uh, and so, when you when you discriminate against the Asian per person, just you should know that you're discriminating more against somebody you don't even give a shit who you discriminating against whether it be filipino or indonesian you should just know that you're discriminating more even whatever it is that you're up to you're doing damage to yourself much bigger than what you possibly can imagine and uh well Never ever again am I going to see myself as a white because really as I touched at the beginning of this video the so-called whites were trying to wipe us out and are using the white issue to unite something that actually never ever existed so that they could have more strength uh, over other races throughout the world basically including the white, the so-called white East. Of the river you're about to see here. This is other river. You know what I mean? That's all I wanted to say to you for this video. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, till next time. Today is April the 23rd, 2023.